Story time. It is story, story, story time. Yippee! It's time for a new story. Everyone's ready. One, two, three. In a village on the slopes of Mount Kenya, a little girl worked in the fields with her mother. She worried as she saw the big forests disappearing. But she knew the power of a tiny seed. The title of the story, A Tiny Seed, The Story of Wangari Mathai. Author, Nikola Rizdijik. Illustrator, Maya Marshak. This book was originally published by Book Dash in the city Cape Town in South Africa. And then later, it was on Pratham Books Story Weaver platform. In a village on the slopes of Mount Kenya in East Africa, a little girl worked in the fields with her mother. Her name was Wangari. Wangari loved being outside. In her family's food garden, she broke up the soil with her machete. She pressed tiny seeds into the warm earth. Her favorite time of day was just after sunset. When it got too dark to see the plants, Wangari knew it was time to go home. She would follow the narrow paths through the fields, crossing rivers as she went. Wangari was a clever child and couldn't wait to go to school. But her mother and father wanted her to stay and help them at home. When she was seven years old, her big brother persuaded her parents to let her go to school. She liked to learn. Wangari learned more and more with every book she read. She did so well at school that she was invited to study in the United States of America. Wangari was excited. She wanted to know more about the world. At the American University, Wangari learned many new things. She studied plants and how they grew. And she remembered how she grew playing games with her brothers in the shade of the trees in the beautiful Kenyan forests. The more she learned, the more she realized that she loved the people of Kenya. She wanted them to be happy and free. The more she learned, the more she remembered her African home. When she had finished her studies, she returned to Kenya. But her country had changed. Huge farms stretched across the land. Women had no wood to make cooking fires. The people were poor and the children were hungry. Wangari knew what to do. She taught the women how to plant trees from seeds. The women sold the trees and used the money to look after their families. The women were very happy. Wangari had helped them to feel powerful and strong. As time passed, the new trees grew into forests and the river started flowing again. Wangari's message spread across Africa. Today, millions of trees have grown from Wangari's seeds. Wangari had worked hard. People all over the world took notice and gave her a famous prize. It is called the Nobel Peace Prize and she was the first African woman ever to receive it. Wangari died in 2011 but we can think of her every time we see a beautiful tree. The story is over. Just to know more about Wangari Mathai. Wangari Muta Mathai. She was an internationally renowned Kenyan environmental political activist and a Nobel laureate. Mathai founded the Green Belt Movement, an environmental, non-governmental organization which was focusing on planting of trees, environmental conservation. In 2004, she became the first African woman to receive the Nobel Peace Prize. Wow! That was fun, right? Do you want to hear more stories like this? 
Yes, then log on to www.books.speak.com. Eruawi, eruawi.